Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a first impression review and wear test on the brand new e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I am so excited to try this out. You guys know e.l.f. is one of my favorite drugstore brands. It probably actually is my top drugstore brand right now. I just love absolutely everything from them. And when I saw that they were launching the CC Cream, I knew it was something I had to grab to review for you guys here on my channel. So for today, we are going to be testing this out for the very first time together. I'm going to let you know my thoughts. We're going to do a wear test throughout the day, see how this really lasts on the skin. And I did wear a really light and fresh makeup look today, just some mascara and eyebrows. So we could really focus on the base today. I'm not exactly sure what kind of coverage this is going to give me. And I truly don't have any experiences with any CC creams. I know a lot of people have been comparing this new e.l.f. one to the It Cosmetics one, which I've never tried out, but I'm sure they're are tons of reviews here on YouTube if you guys want to see that side-by-side -side comparison but I'm going into this with absolutely no idea what to expect because not only am I trying this elf camo CC cream for the first time but I'm trying a CC cream in general for the first time that makes me extra excited to dive on into this I am very very curious about this so if you guys want to see my thoughts first impression and everything like that on the elf camo CC cream make sure to keep on watching all right so getting started if you are new to my reviews here on my channel. I am going to give you guys just a little rundown on the claims, price, shade range, and everything like that. If you want to jump on into the actual application, go to this time right here, and timestamps for the rest of the video will be down below if you want to jump around. Just some basic information on the new e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. It retails for $14, which I think is pretty fair for what you are getting in here. You are getting just a little bit over an ounce of product, 1.05 ounces which is very standard for a foundation. I do think $14 is fair. The Camo CC Cream is available in 20 shades, which I don't think is bad. I think it is a very good start. I think as always, there is always room for improvement when it comes to the shade range, but I don't think this one is terrible. I do think there are a lot of different undertone options, and I also think each shade category has an even amount of shades as well. So not bad, but always room for improvement, as I like to say. And the specific shade that I got is Light 210N, which is for light skin tones with a neutral beige undertone. But I did already swatch this and I have a feeling this might be a little dark on me. This definitely might be a better pick for me in the summer, but e.l.f. usually doesn't take back returns. But for this specific product, they do have a shade match guarantee. So if you do reach out to them within 30 days of purchasing your CC cream, you can get a refund and get your right shade instead. So if the shade's a little bit off that is definitely my bad I'm not the greatest at picking my shade online but I hope I could pull it off today it claims to have medium to full coverage I'm not sure if it's going to be something that I have to build up on the skin but we will definitely see it claims to have a natural finish which I love I don't like anything too matte but not overly dewy I love that natural satin look and lastly it does have SPF 30 which is the one thing about this product that scares me just a little bit because when I have tried foundations in the past like the dream urban cover from Maybelline that had higher SPF in there that had SPF in the product in general I have broken out in a rash on my face so I'm doing this for you guys I'm hoping that I don't get an allergic reaction to this foundation because of the SPF 30 but we will see and if I do I will definitely come back and update you guys and let you know because I know some of you have sensitive skin like me so I will be your guinea pig I will test this out for you guys and if I get an allergic reaction you will definitely know about it let's go ahead and jump on into the application of course with every face product that I try I like to try it out in the way that I would always wear my foundation on a day-to-day -day basis so I'm going to prime today and I'm going to use the elf poreless putty primer this you guys have heard me talk about this a million times is just that standard universal primer that I really like to use under every foundation it just works so well no matter matter the formula of foundation that I'm using and you guys this putty primer applicator I know I mentioned this in my best of beauty 2020 but this has been amazing especially for someone like me with these very long acrylic nails it has just been such a savior when it comes to applying this primer and I know it looks like a lot but I feel like a lot of it gets soaked up into this brush so I just like to apply a little bit more 
than I would normally use with my fingers. I'm so excited to try this. As I mentioned in the intro, I have no experience with a CC cream. So I'm going to try it with a sponge. That's pretty much how I apply all of my foundations. I am going to dot this on my face first just so the product doesn't get sucked up into the sponge. And yeah, I definitely think this is going to be a little bit dark on me right now. But I'm going to do just half of my face with the CC cream so we can compare the coverage. So that's about one pump of the CC cream spread out. The coverage is about a medium coverage right now. I definitely think I would go in with another layer on this side, just because I like to be full coverage. It does say it's like medium buildable to full, so that's definitely what I'm going to do. I don't know if you guys can see, I kind of scratched myself here on my chin, and that's definitely still peeking through a little bit. It did a really great job at evening out my skin tone on this side compared to this side where I have nothing on my face, just the primer. That's definitely nice coverage with just like one thin layer on the face. I'm gonna do the other side of my face now, but I'm going to apply one full pump on the sponge directly, just to see if that makes any differences in the coverage or anything like that. Oh wow, I feel like that's way more full coverage already than just dotting it around the face like I did. Just again, besides it being a little bit dark on me right now, the actual coverage and finish is so beautiful and I think I like it better applied directly to the sponge than dotting it on the face. Just going in with a little bit more on this tiny brush around my brows just to make sure it's nice and even there. Okay, you guys, I'm loving how this is looking so far. So here is one layer of the CC cream. Again, this side, I dotted it on my face first and then blended it out. And then this side of my face, I put the full pump of CC cream on my sponge and then went in and spread it out. And I feel like I got way more coverage on this side from doing it that way. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but I just like to test out different methods of application when using a new foundation. I'm going to build it up a little bit, but just wanted to show you guys one layer. I definitely think on a super light makeup day, I would leave it like this if I just needed a quick, easy coverage. I don't think I'm gonna go in with a full, like two more pumps on my face. I think I'm just gonna take one more pump on my sponge and kind of just spread it out in areas where I feel I really need it the most Specifically this first cheek where I have that scratch and just some problem areas I think my forehead actually looks really nice and covered and smooth So I don't think I'm going to put any more there But I'm really curious to see how this builds up on the cheek area and the nose Specifically the nose because sometimes I have some issues there a little bit of this definitely goes a long way It spreads out really thin and evenly Looks really nice so far. So here is two layers of the CC cream done on the face you guys I am very, very pleasantly surprised with the coverage of this because in my mind, I always think CC cream is like BB cream where it's super light. I kind of think of the Maybelline BB cream. I'll put a picture right here. This is like the only BB cream type product that I'd ever tried and the coverage on this was just so light. I've never tried other BB creams or CC creams because I thought that it would be kind of similar to that but the coverage on this is so beautiful. As I'm sure you guys can see, it definitely has that hydrated look to the skin, natural finish, a little bit luminous and dewy. I don't know, it's kind of reminding me a lot of the Fenty Hydrating Foundation, which you guys know I didn't love at the end of the day. So I'm hoping this one definitely works out better for me, but right now in this unset wet face on the skin, it's definitely reminding me a lot of that Fenty Hydrating Foundation. I'm going to quickly hop off of camera, do concealer and stuff like that to finish up the rest of my face. I do wanna say I definitely think this is something you guys are going to want to set. I just like scratch 
scratched my face a little bit and it totally wiped off and I had to put a little bit more in this area. It definitely transfers really easily. I'm not sure if it's because it has a lot of those hydrating ingredients. I'm just popping back really quickly because I am in the middle of setting my face. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me powder and a sponge. I'm setting my face in the exact same way that I normally do and right now I just started with the left side of my face and I just wanted to say I do feel like when I was kind of pressing the powder into the skin, the CC cream was lifting a little bit. It's not terrible. I don't know if it's going to translate on camera 100%. I feel like maybe you could see on my chin, like right here, there's just some spots missing. Like where I pressed down the powder and where the powder was most concentrated, when I went to blend it out, there was just the BB cream was kind of missing in some spots. It's definitely not terrible, but... I do feel like it just made the BB cream a little bit patchy. I'm going to try to do the other side of my face, maybe just with a traditional brush. I'm just going to lightly tap my face with the powder now, which seems to be working. I definitely think the sponge with the powder definitely picked up some of that CC cream again. So maybe just keep that in mind. If you guys are using this, you might wanna not set with a sponge because I definitely feel like it picked up some of the coverage over here compared to this side now. I just went ahead and finished off the rest of my face off of camera, bronzer, blush, highlighter. I also did some Fix Plus to kind of seal everything in and refresh the skin a little bit. But I have to say, I really, really like how the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream is looking right now. I did get a little bit nervous, as you guys just saw when I went in to set my face with the sponge. I just felt like it was lifting off the skin. And I definitely do still see a little bit of that patchiness like on my chin and that cheek where I went in to set my face with powder on my sponge and I feel like overall the side where I set with a brush looks really smooth everything applied perfectly on top of this side as far as cheek products go bronzer blush and highlighter I really love how this side of my face looks. I'm pretty impressed right now for my first experience with a CC cream. I definitely think this is good so far from e.l.f. and I think my skin looks really nice, but of course I wanna see how this is going to wear throughout the day. That is a very important part about any base product or any foundation is how is it going to wear throughout the day? How is it going to look in a few hours? Right now it is 1.20 in the afternoon, but I did start the application about an hour ago, so I'm going to call the first check-in time around 12.20 and I want to come back around 8 p.m. maybe a little bit after so we could get a full eight-hour wear test. Actually really quick I want to go ahead and do a flash test for you guys before I leave while the foundation or I keep saying foundation the CC cream is nice and fresh. I do feel like this is going to have flashback just because it has SPF in it. I don't know if this is something you guys would want to wear in flash photography or an event because of that SPF but I'm going to do a flash test right now so we will see oh okay <laughs> there's definitely a white cast so far from what I can see this is definitely a great option for every day school work running to the grocery store whatever you guys want to do on a daily basis for a lighter makeup day honestly I feel like I could even pull this off with being more glam but I would avoid wearing something like this or any products with SPF on the face if you are going to be under flash photography hi guys I am back for my end of day check-in. It has been almost eight hours exactly. It is now 8.20 p.m. If you guys can see, I have been wearing the CC cream for just over eight hours now and I have to say, I think it is looking really, really pretty on the skin. My skin still looks really, really even. There's a lot of nice coverage still on the skin and I just feel like overall it just looks so nice. I have this really nice like faint luminous look to the skin and I really didn't get too oily. That was one of the things that I was nervous about when it comes to a CC cream, but that was definitely not the case with this CC cream. I think it really held up on the skin so well. So with that being said, if you do have oily skin, I think you will like this because I'm not 
greasy really at all. Just a little bit dewy and luminous looking from wearing the foundation for eight hours. I will say that although I set this CC cream, it still does transfer incredibly easily. I don't know if you guys can see on some areas around my nose in the close up, even if I just like wipe my nose a little or scratch it a little bit, the CC cream comes right off. And I do find that it broke down a little bit in some areas on my chin. If you guys can see, I just have like little, not texture bumps, but like, you know, when your foundation breaks up and it looks like it's kind of cracking, that's kind of what it looks like on my chin and a little bit on my mouth, which isn't too crazy. That's pretty normal for me when it comes to foundations and wearing them for a long time. I know I touched on the shade being a little bit too dark earlier and I was scared that it was going to oxidize and get a little bit orangey on the skin, but I have to say that was not the case at all. The shade that this foundation applied is still the exact same shade that it is on my skin right now. I did not get any oxidizing going on on the face, which is really great. For all of you out there with sensitive skin, so far so good when it comes to any sort of reactions. I'm also checking my neck because sometimes the reactions, the rash like starts on my neck and works its way up, but I'm not seeing any sort of rash or reaction right now, but I will make sure to update you guys if I do get a reaction tomorrow because sometimes they're a little bit delayed. I will pop back on camera to throw that in here. Hi you guys, so I know obviously it is not the greatest thing when you guys see my face popping in for another day. You guys are probably like, ugh, of course she had a reaction to this foundation. So. So I have to say the reaction wasn't bad. I will start off with saying that, but I did get some irritation from using the CC cream after I did the last check-in and after I removed my makeup, washed my face, took a shower, my face started to feel itchy and definitely felt inflamed. And when I was looking in the mirror, I did start to see some little red bumps forming on my face. So although the reaction never got bad, I've definitely had worse reactions in the past from foundation and different face products that I have tried out. Unfortunately, I just think it's something when it comes to SPF with me, the reaction that I had to this was very, very similar, almost exactly the same to the reaction that I had with the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Foundation. If you guys remember, that was a foundation with SPF 50. Sorry, you guys, my camera died in the middle of my little update, so I figured I just finished this up vlog style, but I definitely think, as I was saying, if you don't have sensitive skin I would recommend this I think it lasted beautifully it looked beautifully this would be a great everyday foundation unfortunately for me there's just something in it that my skin doesn't really love but I hope you guys love it I hope you guys have a great experience with it and I hope you enjoyed seeing this video anyway I always like to upload these videos kind of acting like I don't have sensitive skin so you guys can kind of decide for yourself if you don't have sensitive skin but I always like to give you my full rounded experience if you guys do have sensitive skin as well. So overall, my reaction wasn't bad, but I did get some skin irritation from this. And unfortunately, I don't think I would use it again for that reason. All in all, I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this first impression and review on the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Also, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel before you leave. I would love to have you guys here as part of my little YouTube fam. If you don't want to miss out, on any of my future videos, click that notification bell down below and you'll get notified every single time that I upload a new video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.